Whoa. What happened there? I don't know if they like marshmallows, but I, I hear they like s'mores. All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Twin Cities Outdoors, folks. Today, I'm exploring a little pond that I've never fished, but I've seen a few carp in here. And uh, I'm going to be trying out something different. Rather than bread, we're going to be trying out some marshmallows. Traditional bottom rig. I got a little chair so I can just hang out. Let's see if we can catch them. So I brought a little bread as a backup, but I'm going to see if uh, a little marshmallow will do the trick. Give this a while, and then if that doesn't do it, then we'll switch to some bread. Here we go. Marshmallow for cart. We're just kind of threading it on this uh, circle hook, or actually I think it's a drop shot hook, but they all do the same sort of thing. And you'll actually notice it floats. See that? That white thing right out there? There's two of them because I lost that one over there, but... The marshmallow actually floats, which makes sense because it's airy and light. So much traffic out here. So I'm seeing the carp boil right on the edge of all this duckweed. I'm going to stay near that and see if they'll swim by and peck it off the surface. Not what I had expected. Little bullhead. Little bullhead on the carp rig, and I am glad I brought pliers. These little dudes are nasty. All right, so that's one bullhead out of this pond here. I keep seeing a ton of carp, and uh, I did end up actually switching to bread. It didn't seem like the marshmallow was gonna get hit. It was kind of floating at the surface, and. These carp didn't want anything off the surface other than the duckweed that's in this pond. So it was maybe 15 minutes after I switched to the bread that I got that bullhead. I cast it back out into what I believe should be a deeper hole in this pond. And heck, I could go for another bullhead or whatever, anything that bites.
go. Maybe grasshopper on the lens. Things are slippery. Oh, there he goes. All right, we have had an interesting turn of events here. Uh, I don't know if I got the carp action there, and I also don't know if I got the bullhead action, but the bullhead seemed to be biting the bread now. So I'm gonna put you on a chest mount, and when I get a bite, I'm gonna get this camera rolling so you can see some of the action. Stay tuned, folks. You got something on. Bullhead. Whoa, look at the gut on that guy. Let me turn him around. Holy moly. All right. Not hooked. Too bad at all. We're going to just... Try to roll the old hook point out of there. All right, I got the pliers. No messing around with this fat bullhead. So yeah, let's try to catch another. Feels like a bullhead. Yeah, it's a bullhead. Nice. Looks like we got another one on. Little bullhead. Man, they just splash and thrash around, don't they? Probably the best one of the night. Oh! What happened there? What? 
my gosh. That's my last hook. I'm going to have to watch the footage because I was actually looking away, but my rod just fell in, snapped off here at the reel. What? That was the carp I was looking for. Oh my gosh. All right. That is going to be all from the little pond here. My reel is all gunked up. I'm out of hooks and weights. I'm almost out of bread anyway. Came out trying to catch some fish on some marshmallows. Tried it for a few hours, that didn't work out. So I switched to bread. Had only bites on bread today. Uh, caught a few bullhead, hooked into a carp. And then right there at the end, something started pulling my pole in and my line broke off. I don't know exactly what it was, but uh, that was the ender fish I was looking for. And now I'm out of the appropriate tackle, so I'm done for the day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, folks.